What up guys, I'm gonna do a preview about the Arbor Pintel Bamboo, 46 inches, let's go. So, the Arbor Pintel Bamboo, as you can see I use it a lot, actually I used it uh, almost a year ago, so it's a kind of scratched up and shit, but <laughs> that's a good part so what I want to talk about you guys is the quality the shape uh, price just everything all the um, how do you say it minus but also the positive things about uh, the Arbor Pinto Bamboo so let's start with the positive things what I think is positive, uh, the flex. It's a pentil, and most pentils are stiff. But I'm like one of the one of these people who like pentils, but flexi pentils. So I'm gonna show you the flex. It's a very flexi pentil. And um, it hasn't wheel bite, or how do you say it? I just don't know. And uh, it's a good flexi board. <sighs> also, um, I got once in a while when I jumped too hard on a board by claws or something else or hippie jumps. I heard sometimes a crack. At least with my board, when I heard hear, hear a crack. It's actually not bad. It's not not nowhere is it broken or snapped or something. But just like I don't know, maybe maybe the the trucks because because of the trucks because it's so hard on the uh, screwed so hard on the board that it's yeah maybe I don't know about the pressure or something. But I need to say you have to uh, put grip tip on because. If you watch closely, here it's all gone. If you can, if you can see it, it's also burst here, here and there. Yeah, don't watch my screws; it's uh, kind of fucked up. But if you can see right here, here, here too, you can see it. Just everything, because it's very. I have it now for almost a year. And um, I need to say for for about a year, it's a really good board, but it takes also a lot of how to say it. It takes a lot, also a lot of um, responsibility because I don't have a grip tape. I have to clean it every time when it's raining or something because every every piece of mud I have to clean up. And um, yeah, about that. But let's talk about the graphic and the designs. I don't know if you can watch it very good, but if you can see when you watch here, you see the sign and the sign of Arbor and something here in Chinese or I don't know. Don't get angry if I'm wrong. <laughs> and it sounds Nami something, but I just don't know what it says. And uh, here's your hand with a lucifer and from out of lucifer it comes smoke and that smoke turns into fishes and plants and fishes. Yeah, that's because it's just from anonymous and that stuff. But behind the sticker it is also a fish, I think. Sorry about that. <laughs> and uh, it's a very, a very pretty design. And, but also this one minus point of negative point about it you can scratch it scratch it off easily if I'm just doing that just for maybe a minute you're gonna see there are a lot of scratches and that's one of the big reasons that I put stickers on because it also keeps my board yeah unscratchable or <laughs> I don't know how to say but it's a very nice design. Every, everybody who's seen it for the first time, they say, oh, I like your design, blah, blah, blah. 
It's very nice design, very nice graphic. So good job armor. About the wheels, I got standard wheels. So it's not like it's something special. It's a Arbor Secruise Formula Plus or Formula A. 27 72 millimeters I mean and 78 plus a 78 a plus or something yeah 78 I'm sorry so I just got by uh, by this board where I bought it in surfboard.nl I'm Dutch maybe you can hear it maybe not but I bought it from surfboard.nl and I got the the bearings are Cosmics, um, let me see, ABEC 7 Cosmics, very good uh, bearings, I would recommend it. The Secruise Arbor wheels, 70A, 78A, and 27mm, and the uh, yeah, deck, and also the trucks are Paris 180s, very good, can't complain about it. Some people say it's bad, some people not. For me, to be honest, this is my first board, and I'm gonna buy, buy some other boards. Boards, but I mean, for now, it's a really good board, and to, to start with it, it's a really good, uh, how to say, chance to think about what you else want to go and uh, want to ride in the future. Um, in euros, it costs 240 euros where I bought it, but in dollars, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe 200 dollars. I don't know, maybe cheaper, I don't know, so don't get mad, and uh, this was the review, if you enjoy it, thumbs up, favorite it, comment about it, if I did something wrong, or something, maybe if you want to see maybe longboard videos, I do a lot of dancing, there's also a good board for dancing, I forgot to say that, and uh, also slide with it, it's kind of all wrong thing, but for manuals, as you see, nose is very sm uh, small, but the tail is very good. But if you don't have grip tape and your piece of uh, shoe is a little bit slippery, you're going to have a bad time. So, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, the thumbs up, favorite it, subscribe if you want to. I'm going to make some more videos, that's for sure. Maybe longer videos, maybe some randomly shit videos, I don't know. Let me know about it. Have a nice day.